Hi, everybody. All right, so we're focusing this whole video is only on the throttle bracket. Uh, if you look in the table there, you can see the iterations of all the different versions that I've tried to make, including some that accidentally I made backwards because I'm a big giant moron. <laughs> okay, so basically the, the, the idea of the throttle bracket, again, is that we're trying to, we need to attach the throttle bracket or the throttle cable to a bracket so that it's holding steady in place and can manipulate the throttle without fear of, you know, hitting anything and being pretty secure. Okay, great. So how do we do that? Uh, here's a quick look again at the bottom of the cold air sump, and you can see the direction by the arrow where we need to have the throttle cable going through and the two places where it's being secured. Great. Now, how do we go about doing that? Well, trial and error, right? Just like any other good thing. Uh, we're trying to make the bracket as simple as possible. It's just going to have three attach points. Well, technically, it really only need two, but since we have... Oh, All right, real quick, there's right, a probably. nice homeless encampment fire that right, uh, encampment. we're very prone to see here from the airport. So the idea is that we want to attach it in three different places. We've got two bolts in one place, and since they're right next to each other, you might as well use it if only for, you know, more strength. You can see a sketch there uh, of the bracket body. So there's a few folds in it because the two different anchor points are about, I want to say an inch and an eighth difference in height. So we have to have a bracket that attaches to one anchor point, uh, then comes down in a straight fashion to have the throttle, bra uh, throttle cable go through it, but at the point where it's... because So on these throttle cables, there is a threaded area, and that's where it is meant to be put through a bracket, and there's you know two lock washers and nuts that go on either side of the bracket so that it's like, held in place very rigidly. The throttle cable that I bought is the default one for the Vans RV14, which is fine. The problem is, is that it's too short for the application we're using it for. Uh, you've already seen that I've put a 2-inch control cable extension on the front, which works great. But now, we still have to secure it in the zone of the bracket where the threading is. And you'll see that in some pictures at the end here. Uh, so that's just yet another one of the challenges. I mean, I could just order a custom bracket, but that would cost money and time, and I'll be damned if I'm going to <laughs> not use a bracket that I've already bought. And if you design it cleverly enough, then you can actually bend it and have its or and have it secure itself to itself, right? Because the idea is that it needs to be supported in more than one uh, dimension uh, as a rigid structure. You can't just have like a little flap arm hanging low with the throttle cable attached to it because it can still wobble back and forth. There's nothing holding it in place. Well, we're taking care of that. And this is it. So let's just jump ahead because uh, i got a bunch of pictures to show you. And yes, this all works. So let me... Here we go. So this is the first one. You can see the uh, three points that the bracket is attached to and the throttle cable coming through and where it is attached to a separate hole in the back. Uh, here's a better angle for it. I think that's uh, kind of gives it a, a different perspective. Here is the side. So this is looking directly from the side. So you can see the cable comes down uh, and then straightens up, goes through the back of the bracket, and then goes forward. And finally, here's a little back shot of it where you can see the cable coming down from the firewall, attaching to the bracket, and then going forward. And you can see the attachment to the throttle body sort of blurred in the background. And that's it. And we're pretty happy. Now I might, now I've made it out of 32 thousandths tempered. I would have loved to have made it out of steel. Uh, getting that sort of fabricated might be a little pricey, we'll see. I might just wind up doing it out of uh, 40 thou. Because I mean, it's pretty rigid, it's not going anywhere, and that's, uh, that makes us happy, so. All right, next video, we're gonna keep working on the comm shelf. 
So thank you for joining me, everyone. Uh, aloha from Hawaii, and see you soon.